Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to introduce you guys this brand new series called Elevated Living Design Project Tours, where I'm going to be showing you some of the designs that I've helped execute for clients. This property is located in a beautiful suburb in Ontario called Georgetown and is right in front of a beautiful hiking trail into the forest as well as tennis courts, recreational parks. I was brought onto this project to basically stage this property from ground level all the way up to the bedrooms to ultimately sell it because right now the real estate market is really hot and we only had 10 days to decorate, style and renovate this property in time for it to be up for sale. The client had been renting out this five bedroom property and and so there was definitely some wear and tear on the walls and in some of the rooms and so when I came on board I didn't really just want to style the property I basically wanted to upgrade it and give it a really new and refreshed look right when you enter the house you are greeted with beautiful 10 feet high ceilings and to your right you're greeted by this room which we turned into a study so initially when I came on site for an evaluation I noticed that this space was being used as a six bedroom and right now with the work from home culture being really prominent I encouraged my client to turn this room into a study and for that reason we basically took out these doors and replaced them with really nice upgraded double bypassing barn doors now initially barn door sounds like a really fun idea but we quickly learned that installing a double bypass door is actually quite complicated than it seems but in the end we were super happy with the results and it basically just sets the mood for the study that we're about to show you now right when you enter you are greeted by an ample amount of natural light and that's because it's surrounded with beautiful large windows windows that have a lookout to the forest right in the front. Now with October creeping up and fall season, I definitely wanted to create the space a little bit more moody. I decided to give a really nice accent wall with wainscoting panels and we decided to paint the wall in this nice dark and rich blue color to complement the fall seasons that are just going to be coming in a couple of months. For the color scheme, I decided to go with a tone on tone vibe, which is why I paired up the wall with really nice dark blue bookshelves on each side. We furnished the study with a big statement office desk and paired up two leather lounge chairs in the color tan. Now let's move on to the dining room, which has to be my most favorite space in this house. When you look up, you'll notice that this space has beautiful coffered ceilings. I wanted to carry the detailing and character from the ceiling onto the wall by having an accent wall with panels. Initially, when I came for my design consultation, I immediately knew that I wanted to put a really modern looking light fixture in the color brass, and that basically determined all the different colors that we would be pairing in this room. We hired a really talented carpenter to basically install paneling onto the wall and we painted it with a really nice and bold forest green color. For the dining table, we decided to go with a really simple yet rustic looking wood table to complement the barn door that we had installed. You'll notice details and touches of brass throughout this space in the console table as well as the legs of the dining chairs. When you walk into the living room, you're greeted with a really neutral, achromatic color palette with an accent of blue. And I decided to go with something that was a little bit more tamed down because living room is basically an area where families tend to spend a lot of their time in. So I wanted the buyers to be able to envision an area in which they can be comfy and cozy. And since this space tends to be utilized a lot more than any other rooms in the house, I wanted to take privacy into consideration. And for that reason, I decided to furnish the windows with semi block out curtains in the shade gray which basically tied in the coziness of the entire space.
Right across from the living room is your breakfast bar slash kitchen. Initially, when we visited the house, I noticed that the kitchen did not have a backsplash installed, which, you know, comes with both its pros and cons. We only had 10 days to make this house into a beautiful upgraded home, so we definitely had to hustle a little bit harder than usual to find the right contractor who would be able to install the backsplash in a couple of hours. The positive side was that we had a clean slate to work with. I presented the client with a bunch of options including marble, porcelain tile, as well as glass tile. And ultimately, we decided to go with this beautiful hexagon-shaped Calcutta porcelain tile, which gives this kitchen a really modern yet refreshing look. Now let's go upstairs to the bedrooms. For the bedrooms, you'll notice that we decided to keep a really simple and clean design. We didn't want to do too much because we wanted the buyers to really envision how they would be able to set and organize their bedrooms once they moved in. That's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed working on this project. It was a bit challenging knowing that we had so little time to work with, but I'm so, so, so happy with how everything turned out and our client is really happy as well, which is what matters the most. If you guys like this video, then definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more project tours like this, then definitely subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you get notified of any time I post a project tour. Until next time, bye.